Back now with our Terrorism Task Force, NBC national correspondent Jim Avila is here in New York with more on the web of leads coming from the suicide hijackers themselves. Jim? Tom, there are still some questions about the true identities of the, of the men who hijacked those planes. The questions that the FBI is now hoping that the American public can help answer. The faces of terror, 19 young men, four death squads, the FBI says responsible for more than 7,000 fatalities. Squad One targets the World Trade Center's South Tower. Five terrorists aboard hijacked American Airlines Flight 11. Mohammed Atta believed at the controls. Squad Two, 18 minutes later, hits the North Tower. On board, another five terrorists in command of hijacked United Flight 175. Squad 3 target the Pentagon. A terror cell of five armed men hijacks American Airlines Flight 77. Squad 4 ends its suicide mission in a Pennsylvania field. Four hijackers who lost the struggle with passengers aboard American Airlines Flight 93. Faces America's top law enforcement officers want the country to study in what they call a national neighborhood watch providing 100,000 tips, 200,000 leads, the nation on high alert. We are working hard to identify and locate associates of the hijackers who may pose a threat to this nation. American law enforcement expanding its huge net, asking universities from Rhode Island to California to provide records on foreign students. Several of the hijackers entered the U.S. on student visas. They have asked us for very specific information about certain students as it related uh, to the tragedy. Despite all the law enforcement activity, again, the FBI was quick to warn that there is no specific threat, but the nation should remain on high alert. Tom? Thanks very much, NBC. Jim Avila.